Epstein was We not have the correct. worst luck. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's going to get the winner. <laughs> Every time our winner doesn't get it, Sam gets the, the winner if and she Chris, has to so toss it in her show. You can, you Three can in a row, guys. So, I know, yeah. I Everyone else has had a winner. That I was know. Okay. But yeah. why, do you, why do you even call if you don't even know it? You're like, oh. I'm getting oh, a complex. It's stressful, oh, Kevin. It's well, stressful. Kevin, why do you miss a question in rapid fire? Sometimes when you're put under the gun. Yeah, you stress out. Crystal, it's okay. You can try again when it's time for Taylor Toss Up. You didn't get it, but I, you could try again. All I know is there's almost a million people right now going, I yes. hate the awkwardness. I know. I'm so excited like, that she oh didn't God. get it. I, I want everybody to win. That's what so we do, do it four more times today. If you became a KRBE VIP insider, you know exactly when the next time is going to be. We can't tell you, but we email it to you so you know it. So if you became an insider, you know the next time is going to happen. It's going to happen four <laughs> more times today. Will it be four more times with that specific montage? Or will the next person get it? She didn't even get one, right? No, no she didn't get that, so She that said 15. Help, it no. wasn't 15. The only thing that helped people was they know what they are. We know that's yes. not 15. Yes. You know, we know that's not, not 15. Um, okay, so, so, like, so I didn't even know that was a song. I was like 15 seconds. Like, no, no, what 15. Was 15? I love that was, song. Oh, yeah, but that, oh, was not, that was not part of the toss-up. Kids well, do that with that. Is that the song where kids, when they turn 15, they play that part? Oh, probably. Turn I don't know. I, I just like it something. because it's about your freshman year in high school, and it's all exciting. It's freshman year, and you're like basically the new. Wait, are you 15 when you're a freshman? Yeah, you turn 15. 14. You're 14 yeah, turning 15. Yeah. Yeah, yes. you turn 15. It's about being a freshman, and then the senior boy likes you, and Abigail gave everything that she had for a boy that changed his mind. <laughs> and we both cried. <laughs> I love that song. It's her true. name's Abigail that she the, sings about? The, yeah, because there's a friend named Abigail she meets freshman year. I wonder year. if she has a real friend named Abigail. I wonder, too. Uh, so, good was brought to you by Tacarias Arandas. And yesterday we were talking about how for the second time in like a month and a half, mm -hmm. I don't know why Billboard decided to release the summer song of the, of the I mean, this, this, the number one summer song. No, summer just Because I had Deja Vu talking about it. Because I know we already hit it once. But uh -huh. it was Morgan Wallen, Post Malone, I had some help. Well, because that is the song of the summer, that makes Morgan Wallen a record breaker because it was a 46 year old record that was hanging in limbo where the same artist got the song of the summer two years in a row. Oh. So Morgan Wallen had last year's num a number one summer song with Last Night. Mm -hmm. This year he has it with Post Malone, I Had Some Help. And the last time that happened was Andy Gibb had, in 1977, had I Just Want to Be Your Everything. And then in 1978 he had Shadow Dancing, which I can't tell you what either one of those songs sounds like. He's got that high voice. He had the high pitched voice, oh, just like the, he, his brother was in the Bee Gees. Well, yeah, the, he is one of the Bee Gees brothers. Up. I just want to be real high everything. When, when they, when the, when, when Jimmy Fallon and Jason Timberlake do the voices, it's a oh, good yeah. documentary oh, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bee Gees is probably one of the best documentaries. Those poor Gibb brothers. Did you see Keith yeah. Urban? He was talking about Post Malone. How he's like, he did it right. He he to cross over. Got in the went to Nashville and he did it the right way. Uh -huh. And then he was talking about um, oh my god, Miley Cyrus. He's like, man, I don't want this to sound bad, but because <laughs> I love her. Her voice, it just sounds like a dirty ashtray. <laughs> she sounds like oh, and he's, and he yeah, loves it. Like this club bar or something. He, there's audio out there. <laughs> Listen, like fight but here's you. the hard part about <laughs> the, the tricky part about saying about Miley's it, voice is because Miley has had issues with her vocal cords, and she is now not. You like it's like a medical thing. It she did have a raspy, deep voice, yes. but something happened with her vocal cords. I think she had a surgery for it. Though. I'm trying to look it up. When sometimes she had that, that happens when you don't learn how to sing properly. Oh, really? Where is that? Use your voice. Where is that vocal cord? Well, I mean, Miley's been singing since she was a baby. Yeah, yeah, a baby. And her original, her original name was that. Destiny Hope, but they changed it to mm -hmm. Miley because she was so smiley. Oh. We call her Smiley. Okay. So she had le a, 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 like legitimately changed her name. Billy Ray didn't tell Kevin and I that when we mm -hmm. hung out with him one night. Mm -hmm. oh, he, oh, that's right. No, y'all hung out with Wakey uh, Breaky Heart. You ever hang out with somebody? Aliens, didn't did he? Did you think, oh, that'd be cool to hang out with that person, but you want to leave? Like, yeah. Kevin yeah. and I were like, this guy's <laughs> weird. We gotta get you, you out, out, out of the situation. That's how it was with Britney Spears, too. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's malfunctioning. I think we need to go. <laughs> she's <laughs> just get away from her. <laughs> she is, oh my God. She is literally oh short circuiting gosh. in front of us. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Miley Cyrus's exact situation was a vocal surgery she had because she had what's called Renke's edema. Hmm. Uh, it was something that affected her. What what you do to your body affects your vocal cords, as we learned with Whitney Houston. Uh -huh. oh, she could yes. not sing at the end, and she said that's what got her sober. Oh. It's this vocal surgery she had because, like, do you want to sing or do, do you want to party? Party. Wow. What you want to do? Hmm. Stop partying. That's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.
the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down. in H Town. Eric, I pulled this story especially for you because Ooh. you know Is it he about used bourbon? To, sports or bourbon? Let's see. No, some of uh, something else he loves a lot. Oops. Oh my well, god. No, it's not that. Sorry. Yes, we're doing a whole new story. Yeah, the things. Yeah. No, actually, uh, yeah, play a game. What do you think of this, yeah. Sam? All, all, all the time. Think about all Costco the times. Hot dogs. All the times that you drove to Dallas back when you had to pick up your son. Oh yeah. I think you've got a reason to drive back to Dallas. Game of Thrones fans Ooh. can now bid on all the costumes, props, set pieces, and memorabilia. Oh from hell yeah! Show. I'm coming in here with that Jon Snow, that big black cloak fur thing. More oh, than yeah. 2,000 items, including the melted version of the Game of Thrones, the Iron Throne. Are up for grabs now for fans so who want to snag Dallas. a piece. <laughs> I did this for for Eric Rula. I mean, it was in uh, Houston Chronicle. Always buy money. Uh, he is going to buy that. Don't you know him, Ryan? He is not going to spend money on some Thrones prop well, well, when he can it. spend his money on bourbon. It's October 10th <laughs> through the 12th through Heritage Auctions in Dallas. I know the train won't be built by them, but they just Amtrak just got 65 million to build the rest of that. Train track. Oh my Obviously. God! We didn't hear about that Dallas. bullet train in Dallas. Two hundred two hundred five miles an hour is what they're they're planning for. So what what is the fine print? Where it be says, careful? They get gave pulled us sixty five million, Canada. but it really costs one hundred and sixty five million. So the train's going to slow down. Of course, it just, what's if it slows down or, or is it fair? Ennis, 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 Ennis,